Mr Speaker, the Government's fourth priority is supporting the rebuild of Christchurch. Since the first earthquake in September 2010, the Government has backed Cantabrians in the initial response and now the recovery and rebuild. The total cost of rebuilding a city and surrounding areas has been estimated at $40 billion. Budget forecasts show that the Government's share of that cost is now expected to be $16.5 billion, of which $7.3 billion will be incurred by the Earthquake Commission net of reinsurance proceeds. Good progress is being made on the commercial and residential rebuild, including in the central city. Large private sector projects are a testament to the positive future investors see for Christchurch, and 23,000 square metres of office space has been completed. Major government projects are also progressing. By the end of next year, 1,700 government workers will have returned to the central business district. It is important to maintain momentum with the city's anchor projects, most of which are complex developments with multiple partners. The budget contains additional operating funding of $108 million over four years to ensure these projects remain on track. <laughs> this new funding will support land and building clearances. It will also cover the cost of owning and developing the hundreds of millions of dollars of assets purchased by the Crown. The Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority and the Act that governs it were established in 2011 with a limited lifespan. Last year, the Government established an advisory board on transition to provide recommendations on the future role, functions and powers of the Government in Christchurch. By the middle of this year, we will have a better idea about what the right structure in Christchurch should be, and implementing this structure will help maintain progress towards long-term recovery in the city and its surrounds. Mr Speaker, uh, this is the kind of budget a responsible government can deliver when it's following a plan that's working. The government's finances are sound and the economy is doing well thanks to the hard work of New Zealand households and businesses. Under John Key's positive leadership, the government has been stable and cohesive. That has helped build New Zealanders' confidence both in their homes and at work. New Zealand is in good shape, but we're not complacent. There are very real risks in the world, but New Zealand is much more resilient now than when we took office in 2008. Our challenge is to secure for our economy and for our communities the hard-won gains this country has made and secure them through to 2020 and beyond. New Zealanders can look to that future with well-deserved confidence and optimism. Mr Speaker, I commend this budget to the House. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Yes. Mr. Andrew Speaker. Little. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Wait until tomorrow.